Hello, listeners of the Basic Folk Podcast. This is Jake Blunt, and I'm here today to tell you a little bit about my banjo. This is a six-string banjo built by William Cedars Mosheim of Cedars Instruments based in Dorset, Vermont. It's a 12-inch pot uh, built out of walnut, rich light, and antiqued brass. Uh, I often find I really don't like the look of walnut on instruments, but Will really chose a great piece of wood and stained it fantastically. And the rich light is something that's relatively new to me, uh, but I now have rich light fingerboards on both the banjos I play out on. Uh, I find that tropical hardwood harvesting has become unsustainable enough that I find I don't want to support it, and as instrument owners and purchasers, we represent a significant market for that industry. So I, I highly encourage anyone to check out Rich Light if you're able to. It's a really great substitute for ebony and other common fingerboard woods. Uh, you may notice that it's got some antique brass plating here and some inlays made out of the same material. These are Adinkra symbols uh, used by the Akan and Asante people of Ghana and Cote d'Ivoire in Africa. They all mean slightly different things. Um, the ones inlaid into the fingerboard here are epa, which means handcuffs. They symbolize slavery, also law and justice, that sort of thing. This one up here is the Akoben, the war horn, which symbolizes vigilance and wariness. And up on the headstock and down here in the frailing scoop, we have Seppo, the executioner's knife, which symbolizes justice. These symbols have been adopted far and wide by members of the African diaspora, we who are descended from West Africa but maybe don't know exactly where. And since the banjo is also descended from West Africa and doesn't know exactly where, uh, it seemed only fitting that these symbols should be a part of its construction. A lot of people ask me what I tune the low six string to. The answer, as with all the other strings, because it's a banjo, is it depends. Um, oftentimes, I tune it to an octave of the third string. So if I'm in open G tuning, this gives me an extra low G, just gives a root note to the chord and makes it a little bit more solid, as if I had a guitar player there, even though I generally don't when I'm performing. Uh, I have a tubaphone tone ring inside here, uh, got my strap tied in, but you can see my, my favorite amplification technique is to tape a SM57 to the dowel stick, got my tuner in there, a little bit discreet. Um, yeah, so this is my setup. I've been touring all over with this banjo for about a year now. It's my main instrument. I absolutely love it. So I definitely recommend Cedars Instruments as a fantastic banjo company. And looking into a six string, there's a stigma there for sure, uh, but I have found it to be incredibly useful and something that I now wish I had on all of my instruments. So definitely keep your mind open and check one out when you get the chance. It can add a whole other dimension to your playing. Thanks for tuning in. Check out my episode on Basic Folk Podcast. Thanks to Cindy and everyone else for uh, letting me talk to talk to you about my banjo. Hope that was useful.